the Olight Valdor SBL. Let's check it out. Over the years, Olight has made a number of different weapons lights, uh, all the way from their Valkyrie series down to their little mini series. Uh, this is the Baldor S, and it's their BL for blue laser. Now, they do make a green laser version and a red laser version, but this is a light laser combination. But one of the big benefits with the Baldor S series is that it fits on your full-size handguns, but it'll also fit on your small micro-size pistols if they have a rail and it's a very easy adjustable system. Uh, you can charge it right on the firearm and it's very compact. It gets up to 800 lumens of light, but you can drop it down to 100 lumens if you like that little bit of lower lumen setting. So we're gonna check out the Baldor S BL. We're gonna compare the blue laser with the red and the green, and we're just gonna check out the features. Uh, they also offer a lifetime warranty on all their lights. Now you also get a 10% discount using Suit00 with the link down below in the description. And we really appreciate Olight for sending the Baldor S BL. All right guys, we're looking today at the Baldor S. Uh, this is the BL model, which is for blue laser. Um, and it was really one of my first experiences with blue laser. Uh, we do have the green and the red, which is pretty common. Uh, blue is something that's just been starting to see and introduce. And in fact, I've had these for a little while doing a lot of testing. Um, seems to be the blue laser is really easy to pick up with the naked eye. And so there is some benefits to it, but it does give us some more options. Uh, they still have the green and the red. So if that's your choice, you can go to that. Uh, and we are going to be doing some comparison. But the big thing is we're going to focus on the Baldor S BL. Uh, this is the new desert tan color or FDE, kind of a golden color. It goes right there on, you know, any of your FDE frames. Uh, it does come in a gray, comes in a black. And one of the big things about this light, uh, beside the fact that it's 800 lumens uh, in a very small package. First off, let's go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded. We're going to drop our magazine, check the chamber, and it's empty. We have a slide switch here at the back. Here we are on full light. Uh, we drop it one more and it's light laser go all the way over and it's just laser. So this very easy just to switch this out right at your fingertips. Uh, it does have the paddle, so really easy to take that index finger and you can turn that on. Uh, and so it gives you that brightness right at your fingertips or for the double hand, you've got it right here, has kind of some serrations. Of course, the big thing about this particular light is the blue laser. And here we have the blue. Now it looks purple on the screen. But here, uh, it is a really nice blue color. Uh, and again, we've tested this quite a bit outside, and it really shows up well, even in daylight. But this just gives us a totally different kind of option for our lasers. Now, with one press, we're at 100 lumens, which seems pretty bright to the camera. Uh, if we double-click the paddles, now we go to the full 800 lumens. And so this is going to give you that really bright setting, whereas you double click and you get out of the 100, it's going to be more low light. You're not going to wash out your subject. Uh, now, there are some advantages and disadvantages. Personally, I like going with the brighter light. Uh, but it is easier to see if you're inside a house or you're in an enclosed area, you know, the 100 lumens may be the best option. But typically for self-defense, having that uh, light just really bright, it just gives you a nice advantage and it allows you to see your target. It also will silhouette on the sights. Now this one has a uh, red dot on it, 
but if you line this up, you can see that I can see my sights because of the light. And so that's really a big plus. Now, if we go to the light and laser, we're going to go down so you can see the laser a little better. Um, now, when it's at distance, you can actually pick up that the blue dot. Uh, but up close like this, it's really, here we go. We can bring it out like this, and you can see the dot. Now we're going to go to 800 lumens. And it's really bright, but again, you pull it back and you're able to see that dot. And then when we go straight to just laser, now we have the laser. Uh, one of the things about the camera is it is going to expand the dot somewhat. It's just the nature of the focus. So we have the laser, we have light and laser, and then just light. And we can go down to that 100 lumen setting chose the Springfield Armory Pro for this review because it's kind of a medium-sized handgun, very thin, and yet to see how this fits. Now here are the three colors, and it's in dark. Uh, we have it on a black background. You can see that the green is a little more intense. I mean, it gives a little bit more. Uh, the red's coming in actually pretty strong, but that blue is going to be that in-between, and it's going to be a little bit more soothing. Some people find that the green is a little bit harsh. Now, for self-defense, that may be a better option. Uh, but a lot of times, especially in an indoor situation, the blue tends to be a great light for home defense. But again, guys, it just gives you some options. Okay, we're going to compare the three lasers just to see the intensity. First off, we're going to start with blue. So we have blue on the target, and it's showing up really well. Next, we're going to go with the red laser. Nice color, it does pick up the eye. And now we're going to go with green. Very bright, easy for the eye to pick up. It is a little bit harsh, but definitely, I mean, you can see that laser. We're at about 10 yards, and we're going to test out each of the lasers green, red, and then blue. And this is for daylight. Hitting that middle target, there's the green laser. Just centered up, easy to pick up, no problem. Now we're going with the red laser, right there in the target. Again, red's fairly easy to pick up. Uh, I just painted that target so it seems to be reflecting a little bit, but definitely a good solid dot. Now we're going to try the new blue laser. Definitely right there. It's just a different shade, but it's very easy to pick up. One of the things about having a good light is here you can see there is it's completely dark. I've even got a light on the camera. It's not showing up anything downrange. Once I hit this light, you've got light on the subject. Uh, it's very important to have a light on your firearm because you don't know what you're aiming at if you're not able to identify it. Now here we've got the full lumens of 800. What we're going to do is we're going to just double click it and we're going to drop it down to 100 lumens. 100 lumens gives you a pretty decent amount of light. I can see my subject, but if I want to go with the 800, just double click, and we have the 800 lumens. Uh, the first time I was down doing a lot of the shooting, I was just shooting at 100 lumens. So this is what you're going to see at 800 lumens. Here we have the laser on the rubber dummy. We're standing at about 20 yards. Now we're going to cut that off and go straight to laser. Now we have just laser. And as you can see, you can't identify your target. Really, to use only laser, it should be during the day would be the best time, just to be able to sight in your handgun. But again, you've got that light laser option. And then we can go to the full 800 lumens, and it really brightens up things. And what are the benefits of a blue laser? Uh, first off, your battery life. Uh, for your laser, it, it lasts longer. Uh, red is the first that really takes up a lot of energy. And then green will save a lot of your battery life. And that's one of the big reasons why a lot of people have moved to green. Plus, green is a little bit easier to see. Uh, a number two reason is if you're colorblind on any of the different spectrums, blue is easier to pick up and to differentiate than green or red. And so that is one advantage as well. 
Uh, also, when the green laser shines through, especially dust and uh, smoke, it actually has what they call follow back. If you're holding a laser in your hand, the bad guy can see the laser easier. Um, and that's one of the things about a blue laser. It's not quite as noticeable as a green laser. Now, the downside is, is your blue laser is typically not quite as noticeable as the green as far as picking it up but there are some advantages to having a blue laser. And there have been a lot of testing with blue lasers, and they're finding it to be a good laser system. Uh, it's just a matter of choice, whether it's red, green, or the blue. And one of the big pluses, though, for this is the adjustable mounting system. And it'll fit almost any handgun. I mean, I've tested these on almost, whether it's the small little Micro 9s or move it on up to a 1911. It will fit on there. And because this is adjustable, and we'll take a better look at it in a second, uh, this is really easy to fit. Plus, it has a very secure system uh, with the paddle design, and so you can just place it on there. One thing about it is that you can adjust this part here, and it's a ratcheting system. So it locks into place as soon as you bring your lever around. It makes it really solid. And we've done a lot of testing with these, and they hold up extremely well. Uh, so this just gives you a lot of options for your lights. And sometimes with the bigger lights, they're not going to fit on the smaller guns, but this really makes it easy to do. Of course, it is rechargeable, and it has a magnetic charging pad. You can slip this into any USB. Uh, and that way, you can actually charge this while the light is on the gun. In fact, at night, if you want to have this as a bedside gun, have this plugged in, you know that it's going to be fully charged. It just comes right off, and you're ready to go. Now there is a battery indicator light right here and it'll turn red when this gets down to 10%. Uh, so you can watch it. In fact, I was down at the range and it came on and I was able to see that really easily. Uh, but otherwise it's just going to stay in this position. When it's fully charged, your charging pad will be green, but you can see that it'll turn red while it's charging. So when it's fully green, you know that it's fully charged. I have a TIR lens, which is great for light transmission. Uh, you can see the black hole, and that is where your laser is. And then you have a smooth reflector around the LED. Uh, and you have a decent size lens. Here we have Baldor SBL. Uh, here is your adjustment for windage and elevation. So you can go ahead and line this up with your sights. Uh, and here's a little bit of a closer look at the ratcheting system. Uh, it just moves up and down. So you can get this really far up on the rail system if it's high and then or you can bring it down to the rail that fits closer for you to be able to get your finger into that paddle system and make it really fast but when you get it locked down it is locked solid it locks against those teeth and it just holds well you will also notice that it says gl on this little bar and they switch that out for your 1911 picatinny rail system and so to take the uh, light off and on, just pop your lever and it just comes right off. It fits very well. Uh, and so this makes it really quick. And as you can see, I'm going to put it on the farthest rail system, bring it down. Now I'm locked in and it goes all the way to the end of the firearm. And if you want to go to that second rail, you press the lever and it pushes the other side in, lock it down, bring it back, and now we're locked in this way. So it just gives you a lot of different options. Then here again, I'm right to it. Now here are just the lights mounted on, I have a Beretta APX A1. Uh, this is the tactical version. You can see where the light is. I mean, this is a pretty large gun, but I'm able to get to that light without any problem. And, you know, just that finger reaching to the pad. Then here with a uh, Glock compact size, this is actually the Model 32, but you can see I can get right to it. It fits really well on the firearm. And then here again with the original. Uh, and it will fit, again, smaller frames. But that's one thing that was really a big plus for these is that it would fit a lot of different style handguns. Then again, they do offer their PL Turbo. Uh, this one is a just a really bright weapons light. And they do have their ball doors in this size as well. But you can see this is a much larger light system. And we have the PL Turbo mounted right here on the Beretta. And so we're able to get that light uh, it's going to give it a lot more distance, and again, you can put this on a rifle or whatever, but it is larger. So this really brings the size down to a more manageable compact size. This is IPX4, which means you can put a really steady stream of water on this without any kind of issues. Uh, we actually just went ahead and put it in the pool and left it in there for a good while, and we had no issues with this light. One of the pluses for this type of charging system is there's no place for the water to egress into the light. 
and so that's a big plus. It does have a one meter impact resistance, but we were testing the original Baldor S, throwing it way above the one meter, two to three meters above us, and hitting concrete. Uh, also, we were beating it on our post and even on the handgun, just to see if the mount would come loose, and we just really didn't have any issues. But to be honest, guys, whenever I review Olights, I very rarely have any issues whatsoever. And again, I've been reviewing these for 14 years. Now here we have the Baldor S BL for blue laser. Baldor S standard is green laser. And then the Baldor RL. Uh, this is the mini, but this isn't the red laser. These are still offered. And to be honest, each one has its advantages. Uh, some guys really pick up the red better than the green. But predominantly green seems to be the most popular. But then again, you got that follow back. Uh, because it is pretty intense and then with the BL you have a little more natural color It's not quite as intense as the green But then again if you're colorblind this really makes a big difference But you will notice that the Baldor RL is just a little bit smaller But it still has that adjustable system just like the others Now the price on the Baldor SBL is $129.95 uh, And then of course the black or the desert tan and you do get the Such 10% discount with the link below. Uh, the standard Baldor S with the green laser, uh, it runs $129.95, but the Baldor RL Mini runs $109.95, and that's with the red laser. The mounting system that's fully adjustable, I mean, you can put this on almost any handgun, very compact size. You have your 800 lumens, but you can drop it down to 100, and again, you have your blue laser, green laser, red laser. Also, you have a uh, easy charge. You can do it right there on your firearm that makes it really nice as well. So, some great options from Olight. It's just great to see just different preferences that can just suit your needs. So guys, I've been very impressed with the Baldor S series, whether it's the green, red, or now the blue laser. And from all the testing we did, the blue laser really picks up well. Uh, and again, you just have a number of choices. And then with the laser light combo, it gives you some different options. And then the quick detach system, and it is rechargeable right on the firearm. And again, a lifetime warranty. Uh, and you can get 10% off using Suit00 with the link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, and we do appreciate Olight for sending the Baldor S BL for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now we're at about 10 yards. You need to be able to know. I'm looking at the light and not at the freaking camera lens. I can't see the camera lens. It's big about lasers is that you can fire from. Lord have mercy, the cats just ran down here and it's so freaking dark. <laughs>